Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are finally with the video of the Jupiter and Saturn conjunction and how this is going to affect your sign uh, depending on the placements that you have. Now let's get very quickly into what major and global expansion and transition we're going into, the shifting of energies, before we get into your placements as well as the forecast for 2021 for you. Now this is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, now in regards to Jupiter and Saturn, they are the biggest planets aside from the Sun. It takes roughly 20 to 30 years for it to transition into each one of the zodiac signs. But, um, so this is massive, right? But not only that, uh, we are entering a new element. So what I mean by that is when we've had Jupiter and Saturn conjunctions in the element of water, that's when we've seen the expansion of the Renaissance, the paintings, the poetry, the beauty, the art, right? Uh, this is all in connection with the element of water, emotions, imagination, creativity, also traveling through water, right, by boat. Back then, that was the only way to commute. Moving forward, we got into the Jupiter and Saturn conjunction into the fire element. Uh, this was the time of war. This was the time of aggression. This was colonization. This is all to do with taking by force, uh, which is... Um, you know, the element of fire. Now, from the 1800s up until now, uh, we've been experiencing Jupiter conjunction with Saturn in the Earth element, the Earth family, which is Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, uh, ending with Capricorn, as we are still uh, in the Capricorn sign. December 21st is when Saturn and Jupiter conjunct in Aquarius. So this is really going into a major transition. Now, these changes of Jupiter and Saturn going into a different element family takes about 200 years for it to happen. So this is major, you guys. This is something that perhaps your children and the children of your children will not even experience uh, because it takes, like I said, roughly about 200 years for it to go through all the elements in that family to be able to transition into a different element with earth, air, fire, and water. Uh, so again, we're going into the Aquarian uh, era, right, which is that of the element of air, all to do with expansion, with the future, with looking towards the future. Uh, this is, you know, uh, scientists and science uh, really taking over uh, with major uh, revelations or even for some, it could even represent um, uh, new information in regards to uh, health issues that they are addressing or that they're able to overcome or overturn um, major transformation in regards to how we communicate, how we work for some uh, major changes in your career. For others, you know, if you work a nine to five job, you may actually find yourself working from home now. Uh, all of this has to do with Aquarian energy, higher knowledge, higher uh, learning for a lot of you guys. Um, and this is on a global scale. So again, uh, the perfect example of Aquarian energy is, um, you know, Sweden just recently got into no, no longer dealing with physical money. So again, the time of expansion and futuristic ways of Aquarius is coming center stage. Um, now is a good time to, you know, get investments in Bitcoin as an example, uh, because for the next coming few years, I want to say, from now up until three to four years, there's going to be a major explosion and expansion in that um, <clears throat> category that is going to be very beneficial. Now, how is this going to affect you, Libras? Sorry if I keep looking down. These are notes. I did this for every single sign. And Libras, you guys are one of the signs that are going to enter a major transition. So for Libras, um, Mercury is going to be in your third house. Scorpio energy rules over research, secrecy, intuition, uh, is being activated here. So be careful with secrets or hidden lifestyles because that will come to the open. Uh, for others of you, this is like really tapping into your intuition. This is really acknowledging um, the spiritual side or your spiritual connection uh, with religion, with philosophy, with uh, something that has to do uh, in the spectrum of spirituality. 
Now, your third house, uh, there may be a need to fix relationships here with family members, mending fences with siblings. So if you have fallen out with siblings or have had a rocky relationship with a, you know, a brother, a sister, uh, you know, your parents even, uh, this is going to be, I want to say from January all the way to maybe even March, April, you're going to be put in situations where you can worsen the situation or have the opportunity to address that situation or that connection where you've been suppressing or holding on to certain feelings of resentment um, and being able to address that is going to open the lid uh, for all these, like I said, resentment, um, hurt, past hurts that you've experienced. Uh, to really give you the opportunity of giving you healing. So again, my advice for you guys is to embrace that energy, not to suppress it, address it head on. Again, it may be an uncomfortable situation, especially when we're talking about siblings, um, but sometimes it's necessary for us to mend that fence, not for their good, but for your higher good, right? You don't want to be dealing with that type of hurt or resentment or anything like that and it's the outcome will be favorable because there is a lot of healing that happens here now also venus and mercury together good for speech and writing expanding your creativity for those of you guys that um you know your profession is in the creative aspect if you're a writer a singer a performer um anything that has to do with the public this is um, expansive type of energy that is really going to bring you uh, a higher following for some of you guys. So uh, this is to do with artists, basically. So and business owners, a good time dealing with the public, like I said, um, very receptive energy. And when we get receptive energy, it takes us to the next level. Excuse me. So this is very positive uh, energy. Uh, also, Pay attention to your intuition and to the ideas that start to roam your head in regards to businesses. I feel that you guys are going to be very intuitively connected. So you may be receiving messages from spirit uh, about pursuing some type of idea, some type of something that you can turn into a tangible thing to be able to either sell or to be able to push. And it's going to help you financially it's gonna be a great turnaround so again pay attention to that now also venus goes into pisces teaching you to be patient uh and loving or listening and learning to be like to pay more attention to your partner um like i said intuition this is about for a lot of you guys this is bringing about a connection uh, a partnership that's coming through for you guys for 2021 where there's going to be a lot of like synchronicities connected to this connection. And I feel that this person is going to be vibrating to the highest of their energy. So you're no longer dealing with toxic energy. You're no longer dealing with toxic partners or partners that are connected to the past or that you may be connected to them karmically. Uh, I feel that this is a new person or a new love interest coming in for those of you guys that are single that is going to greatly affect you and they're going to be greatly important in your life for the next coming years. Um, what else? Let's see. Uh, yeah, your love life definitely being beneficial for your love life. Jupiter and Saturn in conjunct in your fifth house. So that's why partnerships is going to be very important for you guys. As you guys know, if you're into astrology, fifth and seventh house always speaks to us about the partner or our lifetime partner, the person that we're going to be with and build a life with. So again, your fifth house is being activated and that's where Saturn and Jupiter are going to be sitting. Uh, so this is all to do, um, this is all to do with partnerships. This is a long lasting relationship that's coming in for you. Uh, also, um, this gives you financial opportunities, uh, may bring a relationship to some, uh, there may be a connection uh, in regards to renovating your home or wanting to uh, move away or some type of like changing of residency for some of you guys but i see this more on everyday routine so for some of you guys it could just be renovating your space renovating your house 
or changing things around in your room uh, that they, there's almost like this uneasiness to you that you're, you're just restless and there is a need to be redecorating or moving things around. That's if you're not already experiencing that type of energy. Changes in how you make money as well. Good time for those wanting to start a new business. Now is the time to do so, Libra, uh, because it's going to be very beneficial for you. Not only that, but success is uh, inevitable for you for this year, 2021. Also may create uh, distancing from some of your social circle and cutting ties and building new ones. So what does this mean? This could be connections, uh, friendships that you've had since childhood, where there's going to be situations or that arise uh, around your social circle that creates a lot of chaotic type of energy and you're taking or choosing to take the higher route um, and not wanting to deal with that anymore. So this could be cutting ties with, like I said, a childhood friendships. For others of you, this is just you coming into understanding that you're growing and maturing and wisening up uh, and not wanting to deal with other people's drama. So you're kind of pulling away from that energy. But at the same time, the universe is bringing to you more people that are like-minded or people that are on the same path that you are that are going to help you elevate to the next level. So very positive energy here, Libra. All right, after all that spiel, <laughs> let's get into your readings and predictions for 2021. Spirits, what are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising in regards to 2021? Please give me 12 sets of cards to represent all 12 months of 2021. What opportunities, changes, or <clears throat> challenges are coming up for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Oh, just sun, moon, rising. Sorry, I have a habit of saying Venus, but uh, all of these changes that are coming in for you are going to greatly impact those of you guys that have Libra in your sun, moon, or rising. <clears throat> okay, so we have January there. All right, January, February. March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. All right. All right, Libra. So for the month of January, we have here the High Priestess and the Ace of Wands. Uh, this is talking about intuition. Uh, this is becoming aligned with the universe or with your desires. The Ace of Wands talks about a new passion being ignited. For some of you guys, you're going into this new year, 2021 really knowing your purpose or knowing exactly the type of life that you want and doing whatever you have to do uh, to make it happen. I see you guys extremely focused here. For some of you guys, uh, you may already be dealing with a spiritual connection for some of you guys. Uh, that's if you have not already met this person uh, sometime in the months of October, November, or December. Uh, what they're saying here is that there is a opportunity for growth here uh, this could be something that you may want to uh, pursue it is to the best of your interest on a spiritual level as well I feel that uh, for some of you guys this could be like a soul tight type of connection uh, for others of you what they're saying here is again pay attention to your intuition and follow your passions that's going to be 2021's um, I want to say motivation for you is to follow your passions, uh, to let go or release yourself from feeling uh, like making other people a priority in your life. Sometimes it is necessary for us to be selfish. Uh, why? Because sometimes we have a tendency of putting other people before our own happiness. And in this lifetime, we have to learn about releasing attachment. So again, uh, following and pursuing your desires or your heart's desires is going to be very important and it's going to be something that you're going to be tested throughout this year of 2021. 
Now your next uh, card here is the King of Pentacles and Five of Cups. And this is for February type of energy. You may be dealing with an Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, for others of you, this could be a situation where uh, for some of you guys, you are either, you know, like a anniversary, uh, a death anniversary may be coming around uh, where you're feeling very emotional. For others of you, this could represent a situation with a father figure um, where they're being challenged in some shape, way, or form. Could be health concerns here, or health issues that are coming up where I see you extremely emotional or I feel you uh, being extremely worried, extremely like uh, feeling like you started the year being like laser focused on something and then this happens. Uh, it, it's almost giving me a sense of like worries in regards to the family dynamics. So it could be like health concerns or something like that. I don't see it as a something negative or something major, but I do feel that in a way it's kind of like a distraction and there's like an overwhelming feeling of I finally found my passion or I finally was pursuing what I wanted to pursue and now it's almost like I'm being pulled towards the same path that I had been walking in the past. But what they're saying here is that it is not a negative thing. This is something that you have to go through in order uh, to be able to find the balance. Uh, yes, it is important to, you know, worry and look out for your family. Of course, that's something very important. But also, um, learning to pretty much set sail or fly or grow or mature there's something connected to this so it could be that you're just extremely connected to your family and in the month of february uh sorry in the month of january you're going into it uh really wanting to make things happen i feel that for a lot of you guys it could be almost like a desire to become self-independent or self-reliant uh, and you start to pull away from home or you start to pull away from family and then a health issue or a health scare is what they're telling me happens. And you're feeling kind of bad that you were starting to be selfish. But what they're saying is don't take it as a negative. Sometimes these things are just things that happen and we cannot really predict this or um, obviously we're predicting this, but <clears throat> There are certain things that we cannot go around. This is just something that we have to address. It doesn't mean that you become distracted or it doesn't mean that you should take a different route. It just means that there are certain things that we need to address in order to move towards our new beginning or our new life, uh, Libra. Now for the month of March here, we have the King of Cups and the Four of Swords. So for some of you guys, there is some type of communication that is being blocked or for others, this could be a person that you were dealing with that you were trying to communicate or have been communicating with romantically where you feel like it kind of stops or there is some type of blockage happening. What they're telling you here is don't resist these changes. Let it happen. Uh, don't be so much in your emotions or don't be so much in your head, Libra. Don't toss and turn over thinking about the situation. Things will start to unfold to the betterment of you. This could be a person that you don't need to be dealing with. Now, what's coming in for you guys um, for the month of April here, we have new love coming in. So I feel that for some of you guys going into the new year of 2021, you may still be dealing with a person from the past. This could be a past lover, a past friends with benefits, a baby daddy, baby mama type of energy. And I see you guys being able to pull away from that because of some type of blockage here in the month of March. Uh, nonetheless, in April, new love comes in or uh, the beginning of something new. Now, for some of you guys, this connection has already happened because these are the cards that you got for January. So I feel that for some of you guys, you may be like, uh, I don't want to say double dealing I feel that for some of you guys, it's just like you are balancing two different connections. One, uh, for some of you guys, maybe one from the past, a new one is coming in, or you've connected with this new energy, but you're still dealing with an ex or an ex-lover. Um, and for the month of April, I feel that you're very empowered and you know exactly who you want. You know exactly who you're choosing and you're going towards a new beginning with the Ace of Cups here and the Two of Wands. 
Two of Wands is looking to the future. It's wanting to build something on a solid foundation. So again, I feel that you're making up your mind in April. Now, for the month of May, there is the World card in the Six of Swords. This is elevation in regards to partnerships. For some of you guys taking it to the next level or making it official. For others of you, the travel may be involved here for some of you with the World card and the Six of Swords. Uh, so May may be a month where there is some type of travel or constant travel. This could be in connection with a relationship, a partnership. For others of you, this could be in connection with your career and your finances. Now for the month of June, we have here the Nine of Pentacles and the Temperance card. <coughs> I feel that you start to see manifestations in regards to your finances around the month of June. And it's almost like perfect timing. I feel that you guys are feeling bountiful or you're feeling very blessed. Uh, what they're telling you here is be practical in your approach to your finances, Libra. The moment you start to take it to the next level or the moment you start to do really good, do not waste your money like on stupid things. Like be more careful with the way you manage money is what they're saying here. There is a need for balance when we're talking about finances and when we're talking about making much more than you're used to, um, you could be like, as an example, you could have an issue with like compulsive buying or compulsive shopping. Uh, and there is almost this need uh, for the month of June. There's a situation that comes up where you realize like, oh shit, I probably overdid it. Um, I don't see it anything major. I don't see any financial losses. However, I do see you coming to the realization that you need to learn how to manage your money much more better. Now, for the month of July, <clears throat> we have the Eight of Wands and the Tower card here. For a lot of you guys, this is news coming to you that is going to be very surprising. It's almost like in a shock waves all over your life. Uh, that's kind of the feeling I'm getting. I feel that this is not in connection with you, Libra. I feel that this could be news or information coming through in regards to someone that you know or someone that you connect with. Uh, this could be friends, this could be relatives, this could be siblings that you're hearing about. Um, this is news that you were definitely not expecting. Uh, so for some of you guys, this could be like, um, this could be, I want, what I'm hearing is like rumors, but I feel like I don't want to put much weight on rumors. I think that this has more to do with like truths coming out, um, kind of like revelations coming out. Your perception of this person may change. Uh, and again, like I said, this could be a sibling. This could be a friend. Um, for others of you, this can actually be like a whirlwind romance because at the bottom of June, <clears throat> sorry, of July, uh, this is what's starting with January, right? Which is the Ace of Wands, passion, desire. Uh, the Eight of Wands is... Uh, really going towards your passion and the tower completely transforming your life. So for some of you guys, this could be that you are starting to live or experience a whirlwind romance, uh, something that uh, potentially you could have started around the month of April here <clears throat> with this Ace of Cups and this Two of Wands. But I feel that for some of you guys, the month of July is going to be like heavily making decisions that are going to transform your life. For some of you guys making the decision to move in with this person, for others of you just like wanting to get married on a whim um, and making it, <laughs> for some of you guys, it's like you're not even to the point of making it official and you guys are already planning uh, to make it stable. Um, so again, whirlwind romance is what comes to mind for some of you guys. All right, now for the month of August. We have the Six of Wands here with the Ten of Swords. So this is feeling, this is feeling victorious. This is feeling like you've overcame a lot of obstacles. For some of you guys, this could be a person from your uh, from your past coming back around, and you being like, you know what? No, I've outgrown you. I've surpassed this connection. I'm on to you know better things. I'm off to a uh, stronger connection I'm strong I'm on to stronger partnerships and building something uh, I'm not interested in what didn't work out in the past 
And I feel that this person that's coming back around and they could potentially switch up, meaning like they're willing to be all in. Uh, it could be because they find out about your relationship here with the Eight of Wands and the Tower uh, that they find out that you found someone or that you're connecting with someone on a deeper level that they're like, no, that Libra is not going anywhere. Like they're, you know, once I reach out, they'll come crawling back to me and you're like, nope, I'm not. I'm, I'm past that. Um, don't entertain anything from the past Libra. I feel that spirit is telling you here, uh, especially with Jupiter and Saturn conjunction, what hasn't worked in the past is not going to work in your future. So shed that out and embrace new beginnings. Now for the month of, what was that? September. No, that was no, um, August, right? Yeah, September. Yeah, okay, so for September, we have the Page of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Someone's definitely coming towards you. Again, I feel very heavily that you're going to be dealing with exes for the month of um, September and or August and September. I feel that a lot of people from your past are hearing. For some of you guys, it could be that you've been single for a very long time because I see you guys getting into a relationship and it sending like shockwaves and everyone finding out or everyone not being able to believe it. Uh, this could be a person that is highly respected or a person that perhaps a lot of people wanted or were interested in. And they're like, I can't believe that Libra got that person or that they're in the relationship with them because I feel like there's love offerings coming in and they're coming in very quickly. But I feel that this is past energy. So you may be dealing with a lot of exes for the month of August and September. Uh, and again, I feel that it's not coming from a loving place, you guys. I feel that it's coming just because they found out or they know that you are building something that is on a more solid foundation. So again, it could be envy around you guys. All right, now for the month of October, we have the Five of Swords and the Three of Cups. So the Five of Swords talks about getting into arguments, and I want to say petty arguments, arguments that don't really help you. Um, it has nothing to do with like sharing your point of view. It has more to do with arguments and fights, and they can ensue in the month of October around people that are celebrating something. So this could be the type of situation where you go to a party, a gathering, some type of social outing, people get drunk and they get stupid, that type of energy. Uh, for some of you guys, the five of swords could be that you're very furious or you're heated. It could be because there's some type of disrespect towards your partner or there is some type of comment that comes in that you're just not going to stand for. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling like jealousy with the five of swords very heavily here. Uh, so again... My advice is if you find yourself in a situation in October where people are getting you out of character or you're about to snap, walk away from that, uh, especially if you are dealing with a partner or your partners around you. You don't want to let them see that type of side to you. Um, and again, if it is a true and, you know, some a relationship that is built on a strong foundation, communication should be key. So I feel that you know, if while you guys have that communication open, like no outside energy can affect or should affect your connection. So don't let people get you out of your own uh, skin, Libra. Now for the month of November, we have here the Ten of Wands and the Hermit. This is you really taking on a lot of responsibilities, uh, feeling like you are dealing with a lot of burdens. Uh, but at the same time, I see you being very grateful. I see that there's been like major changes and advancements in your life you're very connected to your spiritual side i feel that you're feeling <clears throat> like yes it's overwhelming but you're able to overcome why because you're feeding your soul so this could be you connecting on a spiritual level this is you having faith or believing uh this is you really stating exactly what you want to the universe and being able to receive that though it may come through hard work but you're willing to put that work in uh, because there is almost like this wisdom coming to you. Uh, I see a lot of you guys elevating to the next level, Libra, for 2021. And finally, we're ending the year of 2021 with a bang. We have the chariot card here and justice. For some of you guys, uh, making the plunge or taking the plunge. Uh, marriage may be on the horizon for you. For others, commitment. 
This can also represent getting to the point of feeling extremely blessed. This is your card, Libra, the justice card with the chariot, fast movement, uh, feeling empowered, feeling like you have a purpose or walking towards your purpose. It's almost like things are, start, are starting to fall into place and you're feeling very empowered here. So again, I feel that December is going to be very highly uh, connected to your happiness or connected to wish fulfillment for a lot of you Libras out there. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed these readings. If you did, comment, like, share this video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed these videos so that I can continue doing them at the end of every year so we can see what's to come for the coming new year. I wish you guys the very best, happiness, joy, and love, as always. Um, happy holidays to you and your family, and we will see each other soon. Love you guys. Bye.